Hello, I'm Greg, and it's time for another Tunnel Take. Welcome. Yeah, I'm, I've got my Sunday off. I worked out of town Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and today's Wednesday, and now i got my Sunday off. Whew, I tell you what, we all need a day off a week. God knew what he was doing when he just took off and said, I'm going to set these guys a good example. <laughs> I'm going to take a day off out of this seven-day period. Yeah, that's for sure. Anyway, um... Yeah, my, my, my video 242, you find out there how to get these bumper stickers, and they're absolutely free. I want everybody in the YTPC to get one. They look pretty cool. And um, uh, some of you guys are sending me stuff, and it's not, it's, not, uh, um, it's not mandatory at all. I mean, I just these things are absolutely free to you guys. I want you everybody to have one. Mark from TPI gave me a couple of tampers. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Made out of wood. Look like cigars, official cigars. Isn't that neat? That is fabulous. Uh, Charlie, Boca de Boynton. Charlie? Dang. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, Raphael, uh, Flat Cap, Lady Fire. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's, that's good enough to suck on the Ziploc bag right there. It smells so good. Jeez, he knew he knows I like aromatics. Um, Signal Man Tony from Rhode Island sent me a sent me a couple of these um big lighters, you know, these things like this. That's gonna work fabulous. Now, I took my little adapter here and I bent that piece in, and now it's got enough friction where I can have that right right there onto it like that, you know. That is so cool. That is going to work like a charm, I think. If these things hold up as good as a standard big lighter, that'll be awesome. Man, that'll change my whole game right there. For sure. But I appreciate it. I appreciate them all, but it, but it wasn't necessary. I do appreciate the kindness, though. I really do. And um, anyway, yeah, uh, go back. That, that, the, uh, the video is 242, and you get all the information and what you need to know to get, to get your sticker. I want everybody to get one or two yeah um yeah my last my last video i got like three thumbs down and most thumbs down i think i've gotten since my 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 uh number 60 yeah i wrote it down 64 number 64 video i did i did uh and it was right as soon as this uh whole flu thing was coming out and i was like man you guys know better you guys know that this is nothing but a big hoax this is a big sham the flu isn't a hoax. Flus are, flus are constantly coming through us. Yeah, I mean, they just do. You know, every year we get some kind of flu that comes through. Or every two or three years, you know. Swine flu, N1H1, whatever, you know. Some new variant of some kind. And it takes out the weak and leaves the strong and, and they build up immunity to it. Hey, that's just the way life works, you know. If you've gone to, if, you, if you've taken any eighth grade biology, you know it, you know. And, um... Oh, uh, yeah. Um, go back and watch that one too if you want. That was pretty cool. I'm kind of proud of that. Little bit of insight. Little bit of insight as in in political matters will will, will take you a long way. Cause cause when you have insight into political matters, you know what Satan's doing. Cause Satan rules this world, y'all. He rules the air of this world, and every one of you uh, Christians know that already. He rules this place, and when you when, when you look into look into um, political things, you can find out real quick what's going on. What what, what is Satan up to today? What's he doing? You know, today YouTube uh, declared um, uh, any any anti-vaccine um, uh, uh, video was going to be taken down or whatever. So anyway, maybe just don't even make it to to make it on the on the on the, on the tube. But anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, my last my last video was a lot, a lot, a lot was on free will. You know how we can change our outcome by our will. It's not necessarily God's will that you know he, we can change what what happens to us by natural default. You know, um, God talks about reaping and sowing. Every man will reap what he sows. You know. And listen, if we don't have free will, if you think that God 
it has his fingers in everything? Well, if you think that, then this world is nothing but a a huge, um, God's huge playground where he's constantly taking little figurines and um, moving them around on a, on, a, on, a, on a big board or something, you know. Making us do what we're supposed to, making him, making uh, making us do what we're what he wants us to do. No, we have free will, y'all. We have free will, you know. And if he's doing that, and if he's got his fingers on everything, making us do this or making us do that, how can he, how can he judge us in all righteousness? How can he judge us then? He's judging himself because he's the one that made us do what we were doing. No, we have free will, y'all. We have free will. Why is that so hard to grasp? I, I tell you why it's so hard to grasp. Why is there so much anger come up when you tell, tell people they got free will? It's because the pride of people, they want to they want to have be so proud of their religion, they want to say, well, my God, he knows everything. My God, he knows everything the beginning to the end and he knows the timing of everything because he's got his hands on everybody and everything and he's working it all to his will. Is he? He knows what we're going to do. He doesn't know so much the timing, you know. Because we have free will, just like I said in the last video. You know, Nineveh. Nineveh was supposed to get, get be destroyed in 40 days. They weren't. Why? Because they repented. Because they repented, you know. Now there's some there's sometimes an outward agent can come to God and say, God, don't let this, don't let this happen to these people over here. Abraham did that uh, in defense of Lot during Sodom and Gomorrah's day, and God was going to destroy that place. And um, and uh, Abraham said, Well, how about if there's ten righteous people there? Would you destroy it then? And God was like, mm, well, you know, I don't know. I guess maybe I wouldn't. And uh, he said, well, why is there five? Why is there one there? And uh, and 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 Abraham said, said, oh, I mean, and God said, oh, okay, all right, all right. If if you think if if since you think so much about this this cousin or whatever of Lot over here, that's in that city, I'll send some I'll send some uh, angels and they'll tell them to get out, get out. And that's, and that's what happened, you know. So, so, but I tell you what, not too many people had a relationship with God that Abraham had. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to tell me, yeah, I, I can, I can stand in the fence for these people, this, this person that's unsaved over here, and I can be sure they're saved because of my prayer. My goodness, really? Oh, you got a relationship that Abraham had with God? Maybe you do. I'm not saying you don't, but I tell you what. <laughs> Mm, I'm gonna have to see some results on that. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So. Uh. Uh. You know. There. there but there's all kinds of philosophies that float around in Christians' mind, and, they, and and they're and they're so established because they're so accepted today, and and have been through the years. You. You know. I was standing beside my mom and. I was talking talking about a lady that was doing so well, you know, physically doing so well, and uh, and and uh, and uh, she, my mom was like, "Yeah, well, she is doing good." And she, and I knew this lady had had just been in the hospital, and this lady says, "Yeah, praise the Lord." And she was over here. She overheard her what we were talking about, and she said, "Praise the Lord." And I knew she 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 was about you know a week or two out of the hospital, you know, and. Uh, and I said, I said, well, praise the daughter. And my mom said, oh, Craig, you know, uh, the daughters give, I uh, know God gives the daughters the knowledge for these things. And of course, I didn't want to come down with mom, you know, right in the public there. <laughs> but I got thinking, really? Okay. Well, every philosophy you have, if you don't flip it upside down, it works the same way. You better rethink it. Okay, I think thought in my mind. Okay, well, 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 let's praise the Lord because the doctors are able to uh, give men vaginas and uh, and a womb so they can carry a child. Let's praise the Lord about that. Then is that what we're doing? No, I ain't doing it. No, no you go to the doctor, they they they, they fix things.
Now, a lot of times they'll, they'll, they'll claim that, oh, yes, we're doing God's will and stuff like that. And, you know, I came down to the hospital here one time about uh, trying to, it was after we had a hurricane, they have this great big tent thing there, big awning that goes over top of the hospital entrance. And, um, and, uh, and they were like, we need donations for this, that, and the other, you know. And I, I had been in there in the hospital about two years before that, three years before that. And I stayed in there two days, and my bill came to $25,000. I told these people in this forum, I said, I said, wait a minute. You guys, in one hour of that hospital being full like it is all the time, you make enough money to buy five of them awnings. And you're out here asking for, you're peddling the idea of people donating money for your awning. And then somebody come up, somebody come pop, pops up there and says, uh, oh, Greg, your son was... Uh, we healed your son of leukemia. You should be more thankful for what we did. You know, this was the same people, same person, matter of fact, that talked about how God God did this for, for Zach and did that for Zach. You know. Dude. Anyway. But anyhow, you know, we got some weird stuff going on in our churches. There's no question about it, you know. You know, the government comes along and says, okay, churches, close your, close your doors. I was waiting for every church member to go, go to church armed dare, you know, and, and dare the state to keep them from gathering. Well, you let the state come along and say, all right, now do this, now do that. Okay, state, you whatever you say. Apparently, that's what's happening. You know, I used to think that that Donald Trump had the, had the election stolen from him. I don't think that anymore. I've seen so many idiots around here driving their cars by themselves, driving their cars with their mask on. I'm like, dude, geez, does this guy think people even go to eighth grade? I mean, you find it out, find out in biology how uh, uh, germs work. You know, but gee whiz. Anyway. You know, back when I was younger, uh, people would be saying, oh, well, um, them people over there in China, it's bad for the Christians, you know, over there. They won't let them have church. And and you see and you see this state here, the government here tells the churches to close their doors. Okay. <laughs> That's what happens when feminism rules in places. Their women turn into whores and sinners, and their men turn into beta males and wussies. Gosh. Anyway. Yeah. Got the most thumbs down on the last video that I've got in a long time. And I lost one subscriber and gained three. What's that about? Anyway. Oh, yeah. 13 Pipes did a good video today. And, uh,. He was, he was saying, he was talking about, uh, he doesn't care what shape the earth is in and you know, what shape the earth is, you know. He's talking about flat earthers and globers and he don't care if it's a cube or whatever. And it really doesn't matter about all that. But what matters to me is, am I being lied to? Am I being lied to? And why am I being lied to to about it? You know, it, it is, you know, because like I say, you know, this world is Satan's world and he is the father of lies, the scripture says plainly says that he is the father of lies he rules political systems he rules them you remember when Je when he took when, he, when jesus was up on the top of the temple and he dares him to jump off or something and and, and jesus said don't tempt the lord of god um you know you know, uh, dare him to jump off he said he said if you're the son of god uh you'll, you'll float down you won't nothing you won't get hurt and um and uh uh and there were some other things that he that he uh that he said uh to him, you know, just just to egg him on to do something. Uh and and um and he said and he said and he said, uh you bow your knee to me, I don't know, I'm, maybe it's just paraphrasing, you bow your knee to me and I will give you the kingdoms of the world. He told that to Jesus, I'll give you the kingdoms of the world. And I got to think about it one time, I said the, the kingdoms of the world is Satan's to give. He could have gave him that. And, God, and Jesus said, nope, nope. 
You can have your crap. You can have that crap. An evil man killed him. Killed God's representative for good in this world. And on that day, God condemned all humanity and says, I'm tired of dealing with you people. I'm going to I'm going to make a way where you can come back. You you can you can come to me if you believe in the cross. That evil man and you have it in you as well killed good. Killed, wanted to kill me. They created and committed deicide. They wanted to come they wanted to kill God is what they wanted to do. Who was it that wanted to do it? Religious people. Give us give us a Barabbas he said. We want Barabbas. We don't want this Jesus over here. We want Barabbas. Kill him. Crucify him. Crucify him, they said. Who, who, was, who was it that, 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 that nailed the stakes? What, what signal was on the helmet? It was a Roman signal. You know, it was the state that drove the stakes. Who was, who was the guy that uh, washed his hands and said, Oh, it's not my fault. It was a judge. It was somebody that stood in judgment of somebody else. Don't forget these groups of people, the religionists, the people who say that they are, are for order in society and stuff like that. Those are the type, those are the people that killed Jesus. Those are the types of people that killed Jesus. Don't ever forget it. Always keep that in the back of your mind by there. When you hear these people speak, always say to yourself, holy smokes, let's, let, let me, I'm going I'm to I'm put that one to the test big time really anyway well um yeah i'll see you guys y'all have a good one all right bye now